Okay, so uh, hopefully the video has started. Um, this is the problem we want to do. Oops, forgot this word here. Um, we want to graph this by hand. Y equals negative x minus 2 squared times x plus 1 squared. Now what I've done here is that this is, this problem is already factored. Um, so uh, it's already factored, which is, which is a good thing. Um, but if it's not factored, like if you have a problem that's not already factored, you can just factor it. We've talked about how to do that. So uh, it's a little bit of work, but you can do that. And then um, it's just like this problem. Um, if, uh, um, if it's not, if it is already factored like this, there's, there's a little bit of extra things that you have to actually do since you don't have it expanded, but it's, it's actually better in this form, I think. So let's go ahead and get started. The thing that we want to uh, take into account are the x-intercepts, the y-intercepts, and the end behavior. Okay, so, so this is the, these are the three pieces of information we need to get from the um, formula. And then just like the activity we did in class, uh, we just kind of follow the clues from there and figure out what the graph looks like. Okay, so what are the x-intercepts? Well, when it's already factored, you can just read these right off. So this factor, x minus 2, we know corresponds to x equals 2 as a x-intercept. So let's put it over here. And uh, x plus 1 corresponds to x equals negative 1 as an x-intercept. Well, there's a little bit more information we need from the x-intercepts. We need to know if they are crosses or bounces. And uh, let me do a new page here. I just did this in the other video too, but uh, um, there's just kind of just another piece of information. So something like, uh, this is just a different example, but like, x to the 7 cubed, or um, x minus 3 to the first, these are going to end up being crosses. And the reason, and the only number you're really looking at is the exponent. This is called the multiplicity. Okay. So whenever it's odd, any odd number is going to get across. On the uh, okay, so these were crosses, but anything that's even, like x minus four, eight, or more, it's usually only going to be squared. X plus two squared. Anyway, well, let me back up. The fact that these numbers are odd doesn't matter. So this could this could have been um, this could have been a four. That, that, that doesn't matter. This could have been a three. Those numbers don't matter. It's really the multiplicities. When the multiplicity is even, it is a bounce. And as we saw in the activity, um, a cross is going to look something like this. It's going to cross through the axis, and a bounce looks something like this. Oops. Bounces off the axis. Okay, so that's all to say that in this case, the multiplicities, the numbers we're looking at, are these, the twos. These are both evens. And evens always correspond to a bounce. So um, we know that both of these are going to be bounces because that even multiplicity, that even exponent on each root. Okay, the y-intercept. Um, the y-intercept is always nice and easy, actually. Uh, first of all, it always crosses. You don't have to worry about like a bouncing y-intercept. It's always a cross, and. Um, you can find it just if you just plug in equals zero. Plug in x equals zero, 
That's going to be the y-axis. That's going to give you your y-intercepts. So you plug in zero, you're going to get uh, negative two squared and one squared. And all that's going to be negative. So negative two squared is four, negative one, um, sorry, positive one squared is one, so it's going to be negative four. So just plug in zero. Um, now, end behavior. So, end behavior, okay, what is that? That is basically the, in that worksheet we just did, it's, a, it's kind of where it, it started or ends. Um, it's kind of the, the, the left end or the right end of the function. So, um, uh, let me, uh, let me draw a little line here. I think I can fit this in. So there's four different end behaviors. Um, because either, so for polynomials, they either go up on both sides, down on both sides, or it's up on one side, down on one side, up on one side, down on the other side. So here are the four end behaviors. Um, And the thing that determines these end behaviors um, is uh, the leading coefficient and the leading, well, the whole, and, and the degree. So you need to know the leading coefficient and the degree of the polynomial to, uh, to, to figure this out. Okay, so, so what did I talk about leading coefficient and degree? Well, if you have a polynomial like, 7x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 1. The leading coefficient is the 7, and the degree is the 3. So you're just looking at this, this first term. And when the leading, well, sorry, when the degree is even, the degree is even, you know that they're going in the same direction. Just like x squared, um, you're going to go either both up or both down. And when it's odd, that's when it's one up and one down. And these first two, this is when, these are basically the positive. When the, when the leading coefficient is positive, uh, you'll get the, these first two. And when it's negative, you get these second two. So you get this little chart, basically, that tells you the end behavior. And um, uh, which is great, but the problem is you don't really know the leading term when it's already factored. So what do you do? Well, the uh, you could just multiply everything out, but that would be a, a long process, kind of a nightmare. I don't want to do that. So what you can do, you can find the degree. Uh, you just sum the multiplicities. Oops. Um, so the degree is you sum the multiplicities. Because each of these is going to basically contribute one factor of x. So here we have basically 2 plus 2 is degree 4. So this is the degree of this polynomial. So if we multiplied everything out, you'd have a degree 4 polynomial. Uh, leading coefficient, um, basically, uh, assume, assuming it's factored correctly, uh, we only care about if the leading coefficient is positive or negative. So in our chart, that's what this means. We, we, just, we need to know if it's positive or negative. So if it's factored correctly, basically, it's just this number out front, which is, in this case is like a negative one. In this case, it's negative. Um, uh, now, now, if you had like, so suppose you had a two here, the leading coefficient wouldn't be negative one. It would be actually two squared. It would be negative four. That doesn't really matter. You don't have to worry about that because you only care about if it's positive or negative. And that should be out in front, assuming uh, it's factored correctly. 
So this is, so basically if there's a negative out in front, it's negative. If it's positive out in front, or there's nothing, it's positive. In this case, it's a uh, negative. So degree four negative, now we can go to our chart here. So it's degree four, so that's even, and it's negative. So we kind of see that this is our end behavior for this problem. Uh, by the way, this, this, all this information is on the homework cheat sheet, so you don't have to feel like you have to memorize this right now. Okay, so our end behavior looks like this. Okay, now we're ready to graph. These are all the clues that you need in order to graph this polynomial. Um, so yeah, let's... Uh, so let's just try to follow this in mind. We have x intercepts at negative one and two, both bounces, y intercept at negative four, and this is our end behavior. Um, we have to flip back and forth a little bit, but let me put some axes here. So what was that information again? Well, I remember there was a there was a y intercept at negative four. And I don't remember anything else, of course. Oh yeah, uh, negative one and two were both bounces. On the x, because they're both going to be bounces. I'm just put a little b next to it to remind myself. And the end behavior is right there, both going down. So it might kind of look like this. It's going to be going down almost the end. That doesn't tell you about the middle, but it tells about the ends. Okay. So I think we are ready to. Just draw it in, right? We just have to kind of follow the clues. I like to start uh, start on the left here. So we're we're, in, we're we're ending in this quadrant, and we're coming this way. We must hit this x-intercept, and it's a bounce, so we bounce off of it. Come through here, and we don't really know where the, the minimum point is. We're going to talk more about. Um, maybe we won't. Never mind. Let's take a different class. <laughs> uh, you don't really know where the minimum point is. Oh, as to, no, yeah, we, we did talk about this. This is like a vertex. We don't do vertex for higher degree polynomials. So I just, just guess where that is. It doesn't really matter. But this we know is in a bounce. And we follow this. So there you go. That's your final answer. Um, that's what this graph is going to look like. Let me stop this recording.